Welcome back to the big board. <clears throat> so we're looking at this battle, uh, Century 21 game from Poland, and um, <clears throat> I'm just not having a really good run with games lately. And my air conditioner may kick on in a second and make a bunch of noise here, so. Uh, you know, we worked out the setup charts and, you know, now understand these endurance points, it's your, basically your strength, uh, strength capability. And we've got these ranges sorted out, ammunition levels and supply and headquarters and SAS and helicopters and stuff like that. But I, and I posted 10 or 15 questions on the forum. I got lots of answers back, many of which I didn't understand just because of the language barrier in terms of translation. And then also, uh, you know, at some parts, I just didn't understand a section of the rules. And so I said, look, I don't understand this. And of course, that got a, uh, got a reply back, question mark, because <laughs> uh, they want to know what I don't understand. And I don't understand the entire rule. So I figured I'll just try and play this as is and we'll work it out. So I've got it out. It's got the maps out. It's got the, uh, all the units straight away here. But then I get down to the uh, terrain. Uh, legend. I'm like, oh, okay, well, I'll get the original Polish rules out and I'll look for all these bits of terrain. Well, unfortunately, on the map, uh, this terrain type is not defined in the, sorry, in the uh, rules, this type of terrain is not defined. And nor is, uh, I assume this is a canal or a river. This is the Basra River. And I'm gonna assume it's a big river as opposed to a stream or something smaller. So I, could, I sat the two uh, terrain tables next to each other and kind of went through and worked out what was what. But it doesn't have this terrain, which I think looks to me like cultivated fields of some type. But I'm not sure. And there's no uh, movement cost for that or impact on combat or anything like that. So that's it's kind of problematic since it's about a third of the map is covered in that. <clears throat> you know, I'm 40 bucks into this freaking thing. I really want to see if this fucking game works. And uh, I just don't know what we're going to do. Uh, some of the rules in here uh, aren't even finished, haven't even finished being translated. There's chunks of Polish in here. One or two, here, like here. All this, this is all Polish. I'm like, well, what, what do I do with that? <laughs> and I think I uh, worked out what attack from March is. I think it's supposed to be something equivalent to an overrun, but it, it has a slightly different effects which uh, involve, if, if there's no retreat by the enemy, then no retreat result, then the, those units stay engaged and potentially when it's the enemy's turn, they have to attack back as here. Um, you know, this is a big hot mess, this set of rules. Um, uh, there's no movement rate. Oh, there are movement rates. I've worked that out. Yeah, each, each unit's got these movement rates here on the bottom. I don't understand how the air rules work at all. I, I couldn't find the right counters uh, in, the, in the, the game box. It said you get an LM and an SM. Uh, and I couldn't work out how, how to, the air war functioned. It says you start off with the air, jot down where they're gonna go. I guess they have some sort of range, and then you work out if you're in the range, and then you resolve combat. But the first thing you do is uh, airplanes attack helicopters. Well, I wouldn't put helicopters in if I didn't have cap, right? Uh, air cover or top cover. So wouldn't we resolve top cover first, and then if the enemy got through, you would go attack the helicopters or the airborne units or the dropping guys or whatever, whatever it is. So I, I'm really... Uh, as you can probably tell, I'm a little bemused and befuddled by this thing. But I think what I'm going to do is just 
uh, try and set some pieces up and now, there are no fortification counters unless they're ones I've got to cut out. So I've got to, I'm going to just grab some TCS counters and use those for where units are dug in. And I'm un unclear what benefit it gives you. It says minus one in all directions, and I don't know what that means. I guess that means a, a minus one on the column and then a minus one on the DRM as well, just for the way it's worded. E anyway. Frost rate team. Okay. We'll get started shortly, I hope.